Now let's talk about stages in developing a new product. Now this is where I'm, I'm, I'm um, let's see if I can say this right. This is where, and, and please correct me if I'm wrong, rubber hits the road. <laughs> and and, and you're, now you're trying to really get serious. This is, this is, this is where now you're trying to get ser really serious. It's okay, we have got to now, uh, we, have, we, we have got uh, everything, all analysis, business plan, research, all done, funding is in order. Let's go. Uh, we have got the team, we have got the concepts down. Now we want to produce a product which can be produced in a timely fashion and can be cost effective. So analysis, now you start with analysis. Analysis, this is something which is, which is I'm sure all of you are familiar with. You are going to understand the NPV, the net present value. You're going to make some assumptions. You're going to say, okay, if the product is going to cost this much, and if I believe the demand is going to be this much, over the product life cycle, what is my payback? And how much investment I'm looking to put into this? So that analysis is very important. It is purely business financial analysis, and you want to be thorough about it. Now, having done that, the next part you do is concept. Now, this concept is different than the crude prototype you did during feasibility study. This concept, actually, now you are designing the product on paper, in computer, using 3D models, using simulation and modeling, and you're saying, okay, now can I actually transform the vision into a virtual product? That's your first step. And the virtual product, you do all the analysis again, engineering analysis, and the virtual product looks good, then you move on to a real prototype stage. This is, now this prototype stage actually resembles very close to what will be in the market. So here, the prototype, you produce it with, uh, you produce one or two prototypes, or three prototypes, and you're getting closer to manufacturing. You're getting closer to, okay, I'm, I'm getting closer to producing it uh, uh, in large numbers. So you have built the prototype, you have tested the prototype, you're very excited, okay, now I can, I can um, think about uh, going into manufacturing phase, which is the manufacturing phase I have divided into three parts, the first articles, pre-production and production, and the difference lies in confidence level. Difference lies in can I have statistical con confidence? And so you could, you release tooling, you're spending a lot of money in setting up a manufacturing infrastructure, and, and you're testing the manufacturing processes. First articles may be as low as 10 or 20 numbers. And if your manufacturing processes are performing, if your all design calculations have, are holding, uh, uh, then you are going to pre-production, which could be 50 or 100. And then production is where you turn on the full faucet. And, uh, and you're saying, okay, now I'm going to produce hundreds, thousands, million. And you're hoping that all of your market research is going to be right. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of stock in your hand. So, so this is the six distinct stages.